A lot of people think that infrared saunas are a great tool to lose weight. And so in this video, I want to dive into some of the actual health benefits of infrared saunas as far as weight loss is concerned, and also talk about some of the misconceptions because the short answer is yes, an infrared sauna can help you or support your weight loss effort, but it's likely not in the way that you think. And so I want to talk about this because there are direct and indirect benefits of using an infrared sauna for weight loss. Before we get into that, maybe let's briefly touch on the subject of infrared saunas versus traditional saunas, because there is also a lot of misconception in a nutshell. Infrared saunas, unlike traditional saunas that use the heat of ambient air, infrared saunas penetrate your tissue. Uh, roughly one and a half inches or so, I mean, it depends on if it's far, near or mid infrared, all those have different penet penetration depth, but the most popular infrared saunas are far infrared. And so they can penetrate your tissue about one and a half inches and deliver energy into your tissue. That kind of, that means they kind of heat you up from the inside. And that's what infrared radiation does. And it does it very well. So you can get the same benefits or comparable benefits at lower temperatures. I mean, there is such a thing as too low where you're not going to get any benefits. We talk about that in the end a little bit, but that's roughly how infrared saunas or infrared radiation works to deliver some of those direct benefits, including an improved metabolic rate. You know, we all have what's called a BMR, a basal metabolic rate. That's the amount of calories we burn by just being, you know, without moving, without doing anything in particular, but just lying still and breathing, you know, we have a certain metabolic rate. The amount of calories we burn by sustaining our body and our organism and our life at the end of the day. In infrared sauna, by dumping energy into your tissue, it can temporarily increase your metabolic rate. And that leads to an increased calorie burn. And that's akin to moderate exercise. Studies suggest that by staying 30 minutes in an infrared sauna of, you know, if you go into an infrared sauna that is hot enough and that has high quality heaters, we'll talk about that in a little bit, you can burn somewhere between 100 to 300 calories. Now it is true that measuring active calorie burn is incredibly difficult and not 100% precise, but just on the measurements that I've taken, using high quality ECG based chest straps and smartwatches and whoop straps and aura ring and all of the things and you know ultra human ring all of the the devices I have at my disposal I've also seen that I burn somewhere between 100 and 300 calories in a 30 minute sauna session so everything else being equal you burn between 100 and 300 calories more than you would otherwise and so by burning more calories I'm assuming you're not gonna consume more calories when you get out of the sauna or before getting into the sauna, that would naturally lead to an increased weight loss because your body burns more calories than it needs, or at least a reduced weight gain. If you're in a caloric surplus, and especially if you if you consume junk foods, then by using the sauna, you might slow down the weight gain, but not necessarily lose weight. But assuming you're already somewhere at the threshold where your calorie burn and calorie intake are roughly the same and, you know, ignoring quality of food and all of those things. Yes, you can lose weight by just burning more calories in a sauna. So those are the two direct benefits, the increased metabolic rate and the additional calorie burn from the increased heart rate. The indirect benefits are even more important, I would argue, in the long run. There are a couple of indirect benefits associated with infrared sauna use. One is stress reduction and lower cortisol levels. If you're constantly under stress, chronic stress, if your cortisol levels are chronically elevated, it is very difficult to lose weight and especially burn body fat. And that is because cortisol makes your body hang on to energy reserves in the form of fat storage because cortisol from an ancestral perspective means we need to prepare for a fight or for running away from a threat and so the body would do everything it can to hang on to energy so we can use it then when we have to get away quickly or when we have to fight that saber-toothed tiger. Now, in our modern world, there are no saber-toothed tigers. Most of the threats are not life-threatening, but nonetheless, our body does know the difference. And so elevated cortisol, not a good thing for, for losing weight and burning body fat. And so by using the infrared sauna, you get uh, that relaxation, you reduce stress, you reduce your cortisol levels, and that makes it much easier then to lose weight by doing all of the things you do outside of the sauna. Number two, 
is improved sleep quality. Studies have shown that by using the infrared sauna, and especially as you get close to bedtime, it can help you fall asleep quicker, get more deep sleep, and more get more restorative sleep, period. Better quality sleep. And that's incredibly important because that also plays into cortisol control and cortisol level control, but it also dramatically influences your hunger and satiety hormones, meaning ghrelin and leptin, because if they're off, then you're much more likely to overeat or to stop eating, even if you're already full. And so better sleep means better hunger control, better hormone control, but the hormone levels, more balanced hormone levels. And that again, in the long run, can help you lose weight and burn more body fat. And then the third indirect benefit is that infrared sauna use can help with muscle recovery and exercise performance. And that again is if you recover quicker from a workout, if you can work out sooner again, if you can push it more during a workout because you're better recovered, all of those things obviously support your weight loss efforts. And so that's the third indirect benefits. And if you combine the direct and indirect benefits, you can clearly see that yes, absolutely, you can support your weight loss effort using an infrared sauna and everything else being equal, make quicker gains than without using a sauna. With that said, let's talk about some of the myths and myth con mis misconceptions of sauna use and infrared sauna use in particular. In a lot of people, you know, they step on the scale before going into the sauna and then do it again when they come out and say, oh, I lost a pound of, I lost a pound already. How quick, you know, if I do this every single day, seven days a week, I lose seven pounds a week, you know, times four weeks, that's 28 pounds in a month. Not quite because the weight that you use immediately, most of that is just water weight that you sweat it out, you know? And so by rehydrating after the sauna, which I obviously, you know, recommend doing, you gain that lost weight right back. So you didn't really lose anything or just very little because those extra 100 to 300 calories, they are not pounds that you use. They might be grams, you know, that add up over time. So the initial weight loss is, you know, forget about that. You know, you'll gain it right back when you rehydrate. The second adjacent myth is that the only thing you lose in the sauna is water, you know, through sweating. And it is certainly true that most of the weight loss that you experience during a sauna session is due to sweating. Uh, but that doesn't take into account, you know, the increased metabolic rate and increased calorie burn, increased heart rate, and all of those benefits we talked about already that leads to quicker weight loss over time. It just, you know, adds up. It's a compound effect at the end of the day, and you cannot measure that in one sauna session. At least it doesn't make any sense. Another misconception is that sauna use can replace exercise. And infrared saunas are just one part of, or one piece of the puzzle. You know, arguably the, the biggest impact on your weight is nutrition, you know? And, and I don't mean by that, you know, calorie in, calorie out kind of, you know, do you eat more than you can, than you burn, etc. You know, that energy balance is certainly a factor as well, but it's, it's not the most important one. The, the most important aspect in the realm of nutrition is the type of food that you eat or don't eat for that matter. That plays a much sig more significant role than, than sauna bathing or anything else. But obviously physical activity, you know, sleep, stress control, all of the things, some of which we touched on already, are important to lose weight. And so no, saunas do not replace exercise, but they can augment an otherwise healthy and active lifestyle to facilitate even faster weight loss and fat burn. Next one, last one, uh, longer sessions yield greater weight loss. Certainly greater water loss, <clears throat> but that might not always be a good thing. Yes, there are sauna protocols that call for, you know, a two hour sauna session, maybe split up in half an hour, get quickly out, you know, another half hour, get out half an hour, etc., and do this over the course of two hours. There are certain sessions or certain protocols that can specifically facilitate an increase in growth hormone and in other benefits that might also help with weight loss. But that doesn't necessarily mean that more is always better, especially if you talk about regular sauna use, like if you want to do it three to five times a week or maybe even every day, more is not always better. Sauna bathing or heat exposure is a stressor for the body, so you want to use it wisely. And more is not always better because it can backfire and then cause an increase in cortisol. If you're constantly under heat exposure, your cortisol is likely going to go up and we'll have no time to recover. And so use saunas wisely, you know, up to 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes, depending on the heat, depending on how 
accustomed you are to heat exposure depending on you know it, it depends on several factors uh, but i would not do necessarily for longer if your primary goal is to support uh, your overall wellness routine and your weight loss efforts so let's before we wrap it up let's talk about some of the best practices for infrared sauna use in the context of weight loss first is hydration make sure you hydrate before and after ideally using electrolytes you know i would not necessarily drink while you're in the sauna you want to experience that mild dehydration while in the sauna but then fix that once you get out and ideally already hydrate before you get in uh, in terms of how often should you use a sauna well i would say at least two to three times a week uh, there are certain studies that argue that 57 minutes of combined sauna use over the course of a week is ideal to obtain many of the health benefits so i would either you know you can do maybe two 30 minute sessions or if you do shorter ones do it more often per week you might also consider combining sauna bathing with cold therapy so you get into the sauna first and then you get into the cold and you maybe go back and forth you know several times as part of a contrast therapy because that the cold also has benefits to activate brown tissue brown fat tissue and that can help also with weight loss and with burning fat the shivering when you're uh, exposed to cold temperatures for prolonged periods and i'm not talking about you know staying in the cold for an hour but for a couple of minutes can also help you with losing excess body fat so combining those uh, you can maybe not double the benefits but dramatically improve your overall benefits that you get out of it with that we're going to wrap it up i hope that kind of clarified a little bit how you can use infrared saunas for weight loss understand the direct and indirect benefits and also appreciate some of the misconceptions and myths you know like all the water weight that you lost during the sauna is not something that's permanent that's just temporary until you rehydrate with that we're gonna wrap it up i encourage you to check out some of my other resources on weight loss and sauna bathing i talked plenty about infrared saunas and traditional saunas and their health benefits i'm going to link a lot of that down below i'm also going to link some resources as far as nutrition is concerned what are some of the best diets for weight loss because that is incredibly important and if neglected you're likely not going to have the success with your infrared sauna one last thing before we're going to wrap it up uh, there are so many different infrared saunas on the market many of them don't have heaters that emit enough energy and that's important because emissivity is one of the key factors that drive the benefits of infrared saunas low emissivity saunas you know and very often those are the ones you can find at big spot big box stores like costco they don't have the emissivity uh, that drive all of those benefits so ask for emissivity ratings you want to be 95 percent or higher emissivity to get really all of the benefits from infrared saunas because otherwise you might just be wasting a lot of money uh, without getting the benefits you're after and with that we're gonna wrap it up stick around subscribe if you like this video share it with someone who could use it and uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or concerns until next time